<laughs> hey, it's going, cousin. You already know what I'm eating. Then in the minute, animated horror stories. Then in the minute, animated horror stories. Dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. So, who are we with today, y'all? Mr. Creepy. Mm -hmm. If you want to see me live, please support the sh um the Twitch. Subscribe to Twitch. Subscribers, follow over there. Follow the Twitch. Elephant chatting, you know. Love you guys. <clears throat> we could chat. But who, other than that, who are we with today? Y'all can see me from one person on the other hand. You know? Who are we with today? We are with a new buddy of ours, Mr. Mr. Creepy. Hopefully this video is, you know, creepy. It's Mr. Creepy. Mr. Somebody. Hey, yo. You see, you can interact with me in live. I'm saying hello to you. Hi. You know, you get to interact with me in live time if you're on the Twitch. So let's get into it. <clears throat> we are watching some animated horror stories, y'all. With who? With Mr. Creepy. So let's hope it's good. Three true Airbnb horror stories. Let's get into it. It says they're too creepy for you, but they don't know us like that. They just got introduced to us. So we ain't about to let them, you know, talk crazy over here. You don't know what we can and can't handle. We watch creepy stuff every day. Every day. So let's get on into it, y'all. The following stories are inspired loosely based on true events. All characters and, and events taking place in this video are fiction. In no reality was no one mentally or physically hurt. And then I believe at the bottom here it says if you are not 16 plus, please do not watch their videos. But you know for our videos, we tap no kids allowed. So, I don't know how y'all watching the video... If you ain't 18 plus. They say 16, we say 8 over here. You know? Tomato, tomato. So, let's into it, y'all. <laughs> y'all, just gonna let me get into it. It's it's cause, it's cause we're meant with the Twitch. It's alright, I ain't gonna blame y'all for one cause I ain't, I ain't gonna blame y'all either. But, please, go get, uh, go get your blunts. Go get a bag of water. Bag of water. Go get a bag of chips. Go get a bottle of water and go get a blanket, please. Please. Go grab your four bees. You got them? Alright. Y'all just okay. This is getting crazy today. With some what? To no way. That hotel showed up on Airbnb? Maybe it's him. I'm so scared when I look at that hotel. That bastard will come back to find me and kill my family. I shouldn't have trusted my childhood best friend on that day. It was all because of me being too naive. Way more Life was peaceful when suddenly one day I received a friend request from a person on Snapchat who looked quite familiar. I didn't pay much attention to that account, but then he suddenly texted me. And that's when I realized it was Chad, my childhood neighbor. We've been close since middle school, but then his family moved to another place. And now, looking at his avatar, Chad is extremely handsome. Texting with Chad, we reminisced about our great childhood memories, and then he said he's currently doing business on Airbnb. Then he invited me to try out the services up there with great deals. And of course, I love relaxing, so I agreed with Chad. Looking at the pictures of the building he rents out, Chad seems to be a very wealthy person. 
So I booked a room in his hotel and took a leave to enjoy everything. At that time, I even imagined that I would be able to flirt with him and become a couple. Oh, you thought that was about to get. No, I want to get him. After a two hour flight, I was finally in Ohio. I quickly took a taxi and reached Chad's hotel. Chad's hotel. It is a small hotel located on the outskirts of the city. As soon as I got out of the taxi, he was at the front of the hotel and greeted me. Hello, my little bunny. How are you? Oh, don't. Little bunny. Immediately. Girl, get back in the cab and hey. go back to where you came from. Hello, my little bunny. How are you? Oh, don't call me that. We're not kids anymore. Oh, you're still cute in my eyes. Okay, let me show you to your room. Look at him, girl. Chad took me up. up to the room I had chosen and invited me in. But the moment he opened the door to the room, my heart skipped a beat. Well, it's not there. like the picture I saw oh. on Airbnb. This room looks like a battlefield. As soon as I had time to think about everything, Chad immediately pushed oh. me so hard that I rushed into the room and slammed the door. The sound of the door closing brought me back to reality. I realized that I had just been trapped in the literal meaning. Chad, what are you doing? Chad, open the door. You're pranking me, right? Come on, Girl, it's not fun. Ain't no damn prank. <sighs> he didn't answer me, and I heard his footsteps leaving. I felt like office? I had just been thrown into the black hole of the universe. I have never experienced such That's a terrible so thing in my life. This room is closed, empty. The door even had scratches and blood stains. The walls were also boldly stained with crimson blood stains. Especially under the floor, there is a slot of water flowing from room to room. Anyone can recognize this is an extremely creepy place. After regaining my senses, I immediately took out my phone to make a call, but in this room, there was not even an electromagnetic wave. Mm. There was only a small yellow light bulb turned on. My whole body was exhausted from the screams. Leaning my head against the wall, I tried to reassure myself. Suddenly, under the door, there was a tray of food pushed through. Knowing that there was someone behind the door, I quickly ran over. Hey, please get me out of here. I can give you money, give you everything. Just release me. Once again, I didn't get any response. The cold oh. footsteps walked away. I fell helplessly. While I was dreaming, I suddenly smelled an unpleasant rotten smell. I searched for a while and discovered it had come from the water slot. Looks like someone went to the toilet into the gutter and it looks like the next room is occupied. Wow. Hello? Is anyone over there? Hello? Hello? Are you new here? Oh, what do you mean, yes. do? I was tricked by Chad to come here. You know how, how to get out of here? here? I've been helpless these days, too. I, I can't really get out. So maybe there are other people locked up here like me. Before we could finish our conversation, okay, I suddenly the heard the voice street. of a man in the next room becoming frightened. Don't boo -boo in that street. Oh, oh no, the water oh, please. Don't kill me. Uh, please. What's going on? Hey, answer me! Girl, hey! Talk to him. You don't got him in trouble. Then there was the sound of chainsaws oh, interspersed with the pained screams of the other man. I froze. My throat constricted when I realized someone had killed that man. I didn't even know his name, and a moment ago, I was still talking to him. Oh. I cornered myself, realizing that the next person to be killed would be me. After that, the smell of blood rose up. The water slot in the middle of the room at this time showed the body Whoa. parts floating by. How deep is that stream? I've never felt so scared and helpless like that time. I tried to close my eyes so I wouldn't see the... How deep is the stream? 
I bet y'all she's gonna get up in it. I bet you that's gonna be the way of escape, dog. Oh, got my eye itching. And helpless like that time. I tried to close my eyes so I wouldn't see the oh, horrors. Guys, girl, there is nothing see. in my mind right now but fear. The pressure of death weighed heavily on my small body. Gradually, my mind became hazy, my eyes gradually blurred, and I passed out. From stress, I passed out too, more than likely, all that damn I stress. woke up dimly, not knowing if it was day or night. Everything in this room was still the same. That gutter was no longer floating horrific things. But the fear oh, was oh, still buddy. there while I was in this room. Suddenly, there was a creaking sound coming from the door of the room. My body mm. trembled when I saw Chad holding a chainsaw. Behind him, there was another man. Kill her! He ordered Chad, and Chad started the saw. <laughs> no, no, no! Chad, don't! What did I do wrong? Please don't! I have no way to escape. Facing two armed men, I have no choice but to wait for death. My childhood oh, friend is about to kill me. There is nothing more painful in this world. But as Chad approached me, the sound of the saw suddenly died down. I slowly opened my eyes. Chad now looked extremely confused, even scared. Chad? You... I don't want to kill people. I don't want to! You're a monster! I'm not like you! I don't want to kill people! I'm not a monster like you! How okay. dare you argue with me! Don't come near! Irene, stick with me! I was completely surprised and amazed by Chad's actions. With no other choice, I followed Chad and we... I don't care. Has she been there for how long? You've been doing this for how long? No, I don't want to kill people. You're a monster. You're a monster, too. Okay, let's not get this confused. You're a monster, too. You got her there, trapped her there. Been sliding her food underneath the dough. Did you kill a boy in the other room? Because if you, if you did, you still a killer. But, alright. They better not talk after this. He but and it's, he better move fast, because his daddy might kill him. Before Both left out. the room and locked the man inside the room. The man, is that his daddy? After all, Chad told me he was Chad's father. He was the one who forced Chad to trap me into this hell and wanted Chad to kill me with his own hands to practice being a cold-blooded assassin. I told Chad to report everything to the police. They later found horror scenes there, but could not find Chad's father. Chad is still living with my family to this day, but we are oh, no. still afraid that one day, that man will find us. Mm -mm. Would you let Chuck, would you let him stay with y'all? Because you can't stay with me. And that must be some privilege, because I don't know why people just, a horror scene, you killing folk. In reality, he had you kidnapped, but you still kidnapped her. And you just got to go free? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. You can't stay with me. Hell no. It's never easy to find both nice and cheap accommodation in Smithfield. Body in there it's never easy to find both nice and cheap accommodation in Smithfield. As a homeowner, I know how competitive it is in this market. 
That's why I decided to use Airbnb, an application that made it easy for landlords to find guests and for guests to easily find a suitable apartment. As I said, home rental service is competitive, but I got lucky when Airbnb notified me about a booking from Tim and Iris who wanted to find accommodation for four days and three nights. For your information, to book a room on Airbnb, customers would need to have a profile and submit a request a few days in advance. Tim's profile was quite reliable. His post showed that he had lots of experience in the previous homestays. When they came to my apartment, both of them were very <laughs> friendly, even though they had been driving for more than four hours. The rental rate includes all services such as electricity and water. Please turn off all electrical equipment when not in use to avoid fire and explosion incidents. Should there be any requests, please call me or the manager. I see. Don't worry. Tim gently replied. The check-in procedure went smoothly because the two guests did not have any special requests. After talking through house rules, I gave them the key and left. If you were wondering why I trusted my customers so easily, I will let you know. In every rental agreement, to make sure that nothing unexpected happened and also for security, I put a hidden camera in front of the door. I always checked the customer's activities at the end of the day. Of course, this was confidential. Tim and Iris seemed to be a sweet couple. Tim hugged ah. Iris all the time, as though he were afraid she would run away. Wow, the suitcase looks so big, I said. The previous guests, even if they rented the house for a week, did not bring a huge suitcase. Maybe they are careful and always carry the necessary things with them. That night, I was woken up by a constant ringing of the phone. But when I picked up the phone, there was no response other than a gasp. <gasps> and then total silence. Who is that? Hello? I kept asking but got no answer, so I hung up. But then the phone kept ringing. Once again, I picked it up to find no response from the other end of the line. It made me angry. You bastard! Call me again and I'll kill you. Then oh. no more calls in the night, so I could eventually lay down and quickly fall asleep. I hadn't seen Iris out for two days. Maybe she's sick. The next morning, Tim called to inform me that he would check out before the schedule due to personal reasons. I was quite surprised to see that Tim paid the full rent for four days and three nights. Before leaving, Tim sent a message to thank me and gave me a five star. What a gentle guest he was. I thought. Until 3 p.m., I decided to clean the apartment to prepare for the next guest. When I opened the door, a strong no. odor hit my nose. What's that awful smell? I frowned slightly. Body. It was a bit surprising to me because this guy wasn't as neat as he seemed. The inside of the apartment looked normal. The tables and chairs were scattered, but not as dirty as I thought. But the smell was still strong. It can't be like that. I hurried forward and cleaned the bathroom first. That smell was even stronger. Unbelievable! I shook my head, feeling absolutely disappointed. On the floor, behind the tub, something hmm. yellow came out. The stench is definitely coming from there. I approached. Hmm. As soon as I saw the thing behind the tub, the smell made me nauseous immediately. <coughs> oh my god, it was Bobby. so horrible. The thing inside that plastic wrap gave off a disgusting smell. I couldn't do anything but keep myself away from that bag. Hi. <laughs> a voice from behind startled me. That was Tim. I forgot some stuff, if you don't mind. I will go now. 
I nodded fearfully while my heart was still beating fast. Mm -hmm. Tim passed over me to pick up the plastic bag without noticing its horrible smell, then quickly uh -oh. left. Send my hello to Iris. I wonder where she's been lately. Tim looked at me and smiled practically, <laughs> then nodded. After cleaning the bathroom, I moved on to the living room. Oh, I turned Gina, on the TV the while cleaning around so that the work went smoother. Breaking news. At 7 p.m. last night, police reported a barbaric murder in Smithfield in the dumpster of an apartment complex. The mm. victim is a girl named Siri, 23 years old. The body was dismembered and locked in a suitcase. The head hasn't yet been found. The suspect was described as a 25-year-old man who was seen to be with a girl. If you have any information, please contact... The doorbell rang, so I got to the door and peered cautiously into the peephole. It was Tim again, but he was even more monstrous than before. No, I, you open I that door. I think I dropped my wallet somewhere. <laughs> no, Would you didn't. mind if I got in to find it? Hmm? Tim said. It's okay. No worries. It's okay. No worries. What are you talking about? Oh. You just want to die. The news literally just showed you Iris and told you everything. Yeah, they called her Siri, but that means he lied about that too. I think I dropped my wallet. Girl, you just cleaned. You ain't seen no wallets. Use your head, please. Somewhere. Oh, <laughs> Would you me. mind if I got in to find it? Hmm? Tim said. It's okay. No worries. Anyway, did you hear the news about a murder? At the very moment when I hit the doorknob, Something in my mind popped up. The victim's name was Siri, and Siri was the reverse of Iris. Mm. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't. I don't care. Because you did that to yourself, girl. You opened the door yourself. You know that? You know ain't nobody do that but you? If you don't, like, I really hope you know. I don't care. At all. You did that. The summer is coming, and every year at this time, I spend some weeks relaxing somewhere in the suburbs. This year, I decided to find a place on Craigslist. You know, on Craigslist, you can buy or rent anything. That's I mean anything. Crazy. So I found a fully furnished two-story apartment for $800 a month. After finishing the forms they required, I that moved into good. the accommodation. But the owner had opened the door or... before I arrived. Impressive. I was glad that he did that. But then I realized this house was not like I expected. It looked dark and a bit mysterious and smelled like something fishy, which almost made me throw up. When I opened the kitchen window, I saw some blood streaks on the sink. Maybe the owner had not cleaned up after cooking. Oh, that would explain the smell. I sighed and washed them away. The rest of the house was not any better. Every room was so messy and covered in a thin dust layer. I was quite disappointed. No wonder the rent was only $800. I went out into the yard to sit on the swing for a while. What Any better. Oh, Every room was so messy and covered in a thin dust layer. Mm. I was quite disappointed. Was no wonder the rent was only $800. <sighs> I went out into the yard to sit on the swing for a while, yeah, and then made a video call to my fiancé, Hazel. Dirty. While talking yeah, with her, I it. noticed a man standing outside the fence <gasps> staring at me. Hi, can I help you? I smiled politely, but he didn't say anything. <sighs> just got into the car and drove away. Uh, uh, what's the matter? Hazel asked. No problem, just a weird old man. Through the screen, 
I took Hazel on a tour around the house. I showed her the floor with many colorful rugs, among which there was a rug with the vintage pattern that she loved so much. But it smells bad. Seemed like no one had ever washed it for a century. Well, Maybe tomorrow I'll it. call the cleaning service. In the evening, I went to prepare dinner. I switched on the light. Nothing happened. However, I tried. Those lights did not light up. I went to check the main panel only to find that the fuse Sir, was burnt you're in black. An abandoned building. I felt like I was cheated by the house owner. You did. What you're, the hell is that? You're in a, a I was building. startled to see the weird old man again, driving slowly along the road and staring at me through the glass doors. And that means and the he smiled. <laughs> yeah, plus. Sir, them. is there anything I can do for you? But he disappeared before I got to the door. What's wrong with this guy? I mumbled and went into the house. The next morning, I called an electrician to fix the light system. After an hour, a guy named Nick rang the doorbell. He walked into the Boy, house and immediately covered his nose. Sir, forgive me if I was rude, but do you smell something like dead rats in this house? He asked me. I sniffed and realized that was the smell I found yesterday. Mm. <laughs> this looks like a murder scene. <laughs> Nick laughed, but immediately stopped when he saw me frowning. But I must say the house smells very horrible. Yeah, maybe it was from the dirty rugs. I'm going to have them cleaned now, I said. Then Nick offered to help me take those rugs to the laundromat. While waiting for him to check the electrical system, I went oh, out to the hi. yard to make a phone call. Old man again? I'm afraid you may also need to call the rat exterminators, Nick said while helping me lift the rug to his car. <coughs> Both of us were dizzy because of its odor. Oh, uh -oh. what the hell is that? Nick suddenly said when we lifted it up to see what was beneath. Nick and I both froze. Underneath the rug was a human-shaped stain, on which were traces of liquid, blood, and something I couldn't even name. There were also blood stains on the floor. I followed the trails of blood and discovered that there was blood underneath all the rugs. Both Nick and I couldn't hold it anymore. We ran out of the house and threw up. Don't go After my there. call, the police quickly came to investigate and got in touch with the homeowner. But his answer took us back. This isn't my house? <gasps> Nick and I looked at each other without saying a word. It turned out that the house next door was the one I rented on Craigslist and should have moved in, not this one. Meanwhile, the house I just spent one night in belonged to the strange old man I met. I couldn't help but tremble when thinking that maybe last night he snuck into the house and tried to kill me. How lucky I was. The door was locked so he couldn't get in. <laughs> I like that. So how you just up in the house and oh, because the door was open. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, crazy. My sound's a little quiet. Okay, let me turn my microphone up. Thank you so much. How did y'all like that video? I enjoyed it. I did. I ain't even gonna hold you. I feel like... What? Airbnb stories can be creepy because people can do whatever, you know, they want. Like, 
how did that lady have cameras outside that man's house well outside her own house to let them people rent and she still ain't find out that that lady ain't leave talk about some it's secret cameras girl well come on now if you don't have secret cameras there use them damn cameras correctly you know what i mean so uh, let me know what video was your favorite and until next time you guys and i love you <laughs> bye